So, true story. Or not. Hello Zany friends and thank you so much for joining us today as we talk about two more books and these ones I like to kind of say, hey, these books could be true, but they're not. So the two books we're going to talk about is One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. The Peculiar Fate of Holly Banks by Julie Valerie. Uh, let's talk about when to watch first. So this is a book that I uh, got because we are reading it in our book club this month. And it is the story of a plus size bachelorette. That's probably the best way I can say it. Okay. So she's a plus size fashion uh, blogger who uh, basically goes off on a tirade about like a show that's very much like The Bachelorette and says why are all these girls like skinny mini fake people and so she goes off on a rant and because of that the producer of the show contacts her and says would you like to be on the show to prove a point to prove that someone like you can find love even if you're not even if it's fake and we all know it's fake um, you just go through the motions and do it and we're, we're trying to prove a point here right like women don't have to be size two and whatnot and as she goes through this whole process, you're going to find guys that are demons and like, and I mean like very bullyish idiots. And you're gonna find guys that truly want to be with her. And you're, <laughs> he's licking my toes. <laughs> she means my cat. <laughs> you're gonna find guys who do want to be with her, but you also are gonna find guys who just want to be famous for like 15 minutes. Uh, so it's really tough for her to figure out who she is going to trust through this whole process. I really enjoyed reading this book. I thought it was so bittersweet at times and there were things I just really connected with because I'm plus size. And uh, I'm glad I don't have to date anymore because I am married, but uh, I can understand how something like this would really tear somebody up and like cause them to maybe not have the most confidence or even want to date because of how people treat them, especially in this time of social media. Um, so I think this was really poignant. I really felt connected to the main character. I thought there are parts where I legitimately cheered up because I was just like, I can connect to what is happening in this book. So I definitely liked this book. I gave it four stars. I thought it was, I thought it was a good, good read and I'm actually going to keep it. I'm not swapping it away. Guys. Oh. It's keeping that one. <laughs> um, so the next book we have is The Peculiar Fate of Holly Banks by Julie Valerie. This is actually the second in the series. The first one is Holly Banks Full of Angst, which I legitimately uh, requested from NetGalley uh, because the title was hysterical. So this book I also requested because I had read the first one and I thought it was really cute. It's a story of Holly Banks who has previously in the first book come to this village called Prim. And it's like uh, this little like cul-de-sacs of streets there's like six or seven of them and they all are centered around like this botanical gardens and there's this huge peacock like made of like a topiary um that's like their mascot and uh in the first book the mascot gets infested with chili thrips which are i guess these like pests that kill off plants and so the poor peacock Actually, she's a peahen. Um, she starts to die. And uh, besides that, it's all about how Holly is fitting in in this new place where people like have a lot of money and she doesn't. Uh, she is unemployed. And uh, her husband like has a really good job. And of course, her daughter wants to go to a good school. Her daughter is very young. So in the second book, they're still reeling from the fact that the peahen is dead. And that is kind of bringing a damper to like the entire community that the peahen, their mascot is, you know, has to go through like thousands and thousands of dollars of repair. So what happens is there's a real estate agent and she tries to organize like house tours for charity basically along with like merchandise and things like that in order to raise money for the topiary to be rebuilt. At the same time, Holly feels like she needs to do something with her life. She was a film 
major and uh, she doesn't do film anymore. So she wants to get back into it, but she's not really sure how she can. She's a stay at home mom. Her mom, her mom is now living with them in the house and she's got a gambling problem. And the, the dad is just kind of like trying to work but they don't, they make just enough money to survive in this little community, right? Um, but she does have a lot of friends and so she is working towards trying to figure out like what is she still doing with her life. And it was a very cute continuation of the first book. Uh, but I, I thought it was like, it was a nice story. However, however, my one caveat about this is the fact that they don't really end things like there there's one major plot point that she's working towards that you never find you never find out what happened and i was like did they forget <laughs> is it another sequel oh, i don't know good things come in threes uh... I, I, i'm sure that's probably what it is basically i would have probably given it four stars because i really enjoyed it but i ended up giving it three stars because of this major plot point that never got wrapped up. So if there's another book and it wraps it up, you might feel a little different. About that book, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so thank you so much for watching our stories of two books that could be true, but aren't. Uh, and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.